The Lagging Out Podcast is brought to you by Gamer Gloves. Go to thegamergloves.com and enter the coupon code Lagging Out and save 15% on your next pair of Gamer Gloves. Wear what the pros wear. Wear Gamer Gloves. Fierce Gaming Females. They support all gamers on all platforms. Like their Facebook fan page at Fierce Gaming Females or join their group page at Fierce Gaming Females. Hot Chicks with Sticks. I think what makes Jenna Marbles pretty is that she doesn't give a shit. You know what? Yeah, she doesn't. That's an attractive thing. Yes. And there's that. And the fact that she actually just is really pretty. Like, you know, she dyes her hair like all these crazy colors. And she just owns her shit. I, I'm always fascinated by the, uh, the popularity of other YouTube channels and, like, what is their end? <laughs> like, I know how she got started, but I don't understand the following because it's pretty much a show about nothing. Like, she'll think of something last minute, and then she'll just do it, and it's friggin' funny as heck. Yeah, well, she, cause she, she has, like, this organized yet casual humor. Right. If, like, she... It, it's relatable. Free actor, but she's, like, making her videos casual, and it's usually about her dogs. Um, but, like, right. she has some, like, really hilarious theme one. Like, I don't know if you saw her recent one, um, This or This. This or This. And This or This. <sighs> Did I just make a video about dog inbreeding? And I just watched this video over and over, and it's basically about, like, her doing voiceovers of her dogs. Oh, nice. Because, like, she just got her puppy, Peach. So, like... Oh, oh okay. Yeah. yeah. So, like, Peach is asking Kermit, like, you know, <laughs> what, is, what are these? I don't know, I'm new to the art, I'm just a baby, thank you, my name is Peach. But it's so cute, and it's so funny, and so pathetic, and stupid, and dumb. I, fir I found her by accident watching <laughs> Epic Rap Battles. Oh, and she, the Adam and Eve one. <laughs> yeah, and she was uh, Eve in the Adam and Eve rap battle, and I'm like, wow, who is this chick? She's hot. So, um, I looked and like it clipped. It's like Jenna Marble. So I clicked on the link and I'm like, oh, it's her. And I started watching her stuff. And I feel like a perv watching her stuff because I'm just watching her. No, feel like pretty. a perv. No, feel like a perv if you're watching like Miss Hannah Minx. Miss who? Hannah Minx. I mean, I found out about her like after I had acquired my. Baby. If you guys are just joining us, this is lagging out, and we are here with. Miss Minx, well, at least that's her nickname now, and <laughs> Zombie Killer, and we're all here, and we're talking, and we're hanging out. We're going to be talking about a bunch of stuff. Miss Minx, she's really hard to get, but we got her on the show twice. She's the first guest this year that's not on our staff. So please welcome Miss <laughs> Minx. Hi. Yeah. Hi. For once, I'm outnumbered, and I like it. <laughs> yeah. You so there we go. Nice. Just we were injecting a fresh dose of estrogen into the show this week. We're having a taco so. party, not a sausage party. Uh oh. Ooh. Hey. If you like lagging out, give these guys a view. Nerd Realm, only on the Lagging Out Network, the only radio show that broadcasts from the bowels of the tortoise. Check them out on their very own playlist on our YouTube page today. Revolver Gaming, a clan that succeeds at being strong and unique among the thousands of clans that are mundane and weak. Check out Revolver Gaming on Twitch at twitch.tv slash revolver, G and United, or on our YouTube channel. Xbox Boss Players. Boss Players is a multi-platform community run by the one and only Blue Polar. Blue Polar. They welcome all gamers on all platforms, regardless of their name. Check the group out today on Facebook at Xbox 360 Boss Players Group. Uh, Tell your kid to be quiet. We're doing a show. We're doing a show! <laughs> quiet! <laughs> 50 people are going to watch this. Be quiet. <laughs> oh, my God. Speaking of T-shirts and people not watching us, I'm going to do this little PSA for us. The Lagging Out Network is where real video gamers discuss video games and everything geek. 
Catch the latest news in gaming, interviews with gaming celebrities, industry professionals, pro gamers, and more. The only thing we need is a professional website that turns into a legitimate force in the industry. With original content and gaming-centric comedy segments alike, the network is the voice of every gamer. Are you willing to help us? Just go to www.booster.com slash lagging out shirts and just for $15, you can pick up version one lagging out tees. 100% of the proceeds go directly into the production of our website. Plus, you get an awesome t-shirt. What a deal! Check it out today. All that training that funny guy told me, I still screw up reads, but I do it with a lot of enthusiasm. You do. You <laughs> get an E whatever. Speaking of those shirts, when are we supposed to get them? Because I ordered mine, and I have been anxiously waiting for them. That is a great question, Miss Minx. After the um, <laughs> actual initial campaign goes through, it says after, let's see, like probably 14 days from now, you'll be getting them in June. Okay. So, so the campaign yeah. has to close first? It, it'll, it ends... It ends on the 26th or 27th of this okay. month, which is May, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. hey, guys, so order your shirts so I can get mine. Thanks a bunch. Everyone on our show has a quota of 10. I've sold 13, and no one else has sold any. I haven't tried to beat people up. It didn't <laughs> work. Beat people up? Yeah. You threaten to smack. You're going to buy a damn shirt. <laughs> you threaten to smack so the shit out of them? Why? You know what? Next time I'll just beat them up and take their money and go buy a shirt. Okay. That's what I should have done. Well, we only need 87 more. So, All right. And at 15 bucks, you can't go wrong. I said moral of the story, buy your shirts. Moving on. Yes, thank you. Look at her being all pushy. She hasn't been here a year. She's taking some entitlements, drinking beer. I, uh, <laughs> this is actually Strongbow, not a beer, as was corrected. It is a hard cider. All right. All right. Well, getting to the first subject that we have to get to, which was in the news recently, virtual rape in very video games. Here we go. Here's a clip. Roger, in the world of gaming, modifying characters is actually a common thing, but these cases are extreme. These hackers, they're taking control of games being played online, and they're staging these violent attacks, and the scenes are so disturbing, we had to blur the images. The graphics are so good, this attack is eerily realistic, but this is virtual rape. Hackers rewriting codes and hijacking online video games like Zombie Apocalypse and Grand Theft Auto. The vile scenes are then posted to YouTube. I don't understand. It's like you ha you're playing a game, we're playing Call of Duty. I know there's a lot of people play Call of Duty on first person shooters, and there's positions where you actually do that. But the actual video is pretty misleading. Yes, the, the problem with the video is, um, as you guys saw, is that um, it, it takes the, uh, a clip of a, news, of a larger news reporting um, and then shows a video clip of, you know, a, a Halo player teabagging another Halo player and then a, uh, oh my gosh, what was her name? Because I just saw it and I forgot, um, a, uh, a famous <laughs> blogger being interviewed. Um, uh, about like how virtual rape is traumatizing and the problem with that is that it makes it seem like the, the whole teabag thing that was shown in the video is traumatizing. That's not what's going on. I spent, uh, It's traumatizing I spent, to me when people do it to me. <laughs> yeah, he gets raped all the time. <laughs> Go ahead, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually so I'm I'm gonna try to keep this as, as succinct as uh, possible. I am. I'm not gonna do like a, a page and a half lecture about this. Um, so I, I sent Chief a video of uh, what the actual like news reporting of what was going on is. And if you guys haven't heard, this is the problem. The problem is specifically in Grand Theft Auto V, um, hackers are, are are hacking into the game, creating mods um, that will lock your character into place. Um, so you have no control over your character, um, and they will they will graphically sexually assault you. Um, and while to me personally, this isn't for everyone, but to me personally, that's annoying. What makes it right. worse though is that the, the person on the other end, the hacker, can talk to you on 
uh, on their headset to you. For a lot of now, I'm I'm not speaking on behalf of all guys. This is not what I'm I'm not trying to. Right. That's not what I'm trying right. to say. What I am saying is that a, a lot, if not most guys, have not been sexually assaulted, so they don't under really they don't really understand um, mm -hmm. the exactly the psychological trauma that rape has caused. Um, Unless you're and, in prison, then you get you're gonna get any rape. Well, yeah, yeah, there there is that. Um, the the whole thing about this is is that I paid for a game. I didn't sign up for this. I didn't agree to this. I wanted to log into my game to enjoy myself. Do not be sexually harassed and then addressed through a headset. Like that just throws you into like a whole new level of sexual. It's like you're getting raped and the guy is like in your ear saying you like exactly. that or whatever. It's kind of like the same thing is what you're saying. Exactly. And 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 to that guy, like he does not have to face the consequences. Like if if he right. were to. I just say my KD's higher than yours is. That's all I would say and run off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I hope that you went and. Like, well, hey, if you didn't want to get raped, you shouldn't have gone to the bar. Or if you didn't want to get sexually assaulted, then you shouldn't have worn such a, a sexy dress. And it shifts the blame completely to the victim without giving the hacker um, any sort of consequence. Can, can you, can you like, I know on Xbox you can file a complaint against people, but um, are you talking about, like, GTA and Skyrim, like, on the PC thing? It, with, it's real hard to, like, report people? Because um, I know problem, you can report people for that, right? The problem, the problem, the problem with hackers is that um, they're untraceable a lot okay, of the time. It, these hackers are making a specific code, and they are going out of their way to do this. And that does say a lot about society. I didn't log into Xbox or, or PlayStation to you know, have this happen, and it's like I'm either forced to watch it and let it happen and let this guy like you know talk to me in my ear. I have no idea who this creep is. Um, and if he could hack a game, he taking it a little step further, he might be able to like you know trust find trace your my IP, IP address and shit like that. And yeah. Find, he had right. he now has my username at the very least. Zombie killer, have you ever experienced stuff like this playing? I have Playing video games. Like you you you're just a console gamer essentially, right? Yep. So, but if you were like zombie killer, you know you know zombie killer believes in the Second Amendment. Her name is Zombie Killer. You know she's prepared for the zombie apocalypse. So you know you're not going to mess with her. She's one tough lady. I wouldn't mess with her. She's, one, she's a mama. Two, she's a badass. So you're not going to mess with them. So and Minx, Minx, is from, Minx, Minx is from the Northeast. She's kind of a badass too. So I think both these two would kick my ass in a fight personally. So I wouldn't, I mean, I'd feel bad for the guy going there. What I mean, I will absolutely kick your ass. I mean, I will. <laughs> bring, this, bring this around. Um... um and this is not just towards females. It's it's probably largely targeted at females, but that doesn't mean that it's not right. guys either. Um, there is a guy who is, you know, homosexual. You know, homosexuals are a huge target. The fact that, you know, people don't have to face consequences because you're hidden behind a screen, you're hidden behind that safety. They're cowards, essentially. They're, they're, talk they're keyboard commandos or... What I used to call them. There you go. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, I mean, it is completely removing humanity from the other person. And the rape is not a sexual thing. It's about, like, a, it's like someone overpowering someone else. That's well, the whole that, idea of rape that, is. And it, whether it's virtual or not, I think, I think you're a bigger scumbag than, <laughs> like, purposely. Like, do you have anything else to better? Like, there's so many other things you can do in your life like for programming and make a lot of money in, why do you want to do this stupid shit? It's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I would be like applying to game companies and making like six-figure salaries because that's how much they make. Maybe Anonymous should go after these motherfuckers. Better solution. How about Rockstar Game address this issue? Right. Like, um, yeah. They haven't done anything to, to, to address this. Again, says a lot about society, a lot about them, and a lot about like the importance of like. Maybe, maybe they're worried about backlash. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like this is just wrong. I mean, like our our. Can I just say it's so much of a pleasure talking about GTA now than it was like a couple of weeks ago? Well, I think Dan like would say he felt raised here. about it. <laughs> He's been raised about it for over a year. 
What I was going to say was is that if a huge company like Rockstar Games is afraid is is afraid of the backlash, do these people have a spine? Like they exactly. need to take. I mean, like you know, when everything was going down with um, the NFL and you know the domestic the, violence and stuff, yeah. yeah, domestic violence, rape, um, uh, whatever, what and whatever other contra- controversies that was going on, the deflated ball, like who takes responsibility for that? Right. I mean, they, it, it's. I mean, they play a violence like it's again. You play a violent sport. You expect these guys not to be violent. You play a violent video game. It's completely different. You're 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 a victim of your your circumstances and how you were brought up and stuff like that. But when I play when I play a game like GTA or I play a game that's an army based game, I'm not going to go out and fucking kill somebody. There's a difference. There, there is a difference. There is. I'll, I'll, I'll help you along. There's a yeah, difference, thank you. and and most people can um, tell the difference between reality and virtual reality. Thank you know, you. because like people will like kill in Call of Duty, they will kill, they'll shoot you and kill your character. In a game, does not mean that they're gonna shoot you and kill you in real life. Um, right. However, however, the problem is, is that. That does not cause psychological trauma. Cursing, like saying, like, hey, I slept with your mom last night, does not cause psychological trauma. However, rape does. And it's a really, really serious issue that people right. really make way too light of on a way too regular basis. I because just think it, making a sandwich. Is that offensive? No. <laughs> wow, crickets. I got nothing. Oh, my God. I, I guess um, the, what if, I mean, what if there was um, racist acts going on in games? I feel like gaming developers really do... They don't need to be, like, overly sensitive, like they're walking on eggshells. That's not the point. But, like, we kind of need to, like, seriously, like, look at society. Because if we're creating a game, let's just say, specifically to rape, (laughs) like, Revenge, if you guys know that game. (laughs) Agreed. Absolutely. How's the view from that soapbox there, Minx? Jeez. Um, you know, it was really warm. I lowered the temperature. And, and really no, but if you Please. don't know Miss Minx, you can check her out on Real Otaku Gamer. <laughs> otaku. 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 Real Otaku. Otaku. I can't say it. Otaku. Okay. Allow, allow me. Real Otaku Gamer. Real Otaku Gamer. Dot com. Yes. Where you can find <laughs> the latest reviews on gaming, right? Yep. Gaming oh, and so everything geek called. Everyone should go check her out. She's quite the wordsmith, unlike me, who stutters over my words and cannot pronounce the website. <laughs> All right. Well, on behalf of Miss Minx, Zombie Killer, and myself, we'd like to thank you for watching the Lagging Out Podcast. Until next time, this is Chicken signing off and lagging out. Thank mm-hmm. you.